Hi, uh, this is a video for the project part handle. And let's see. You will be making this. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, it's a different on this, it's a little bit different on this part. We have a partially made part where you already uh, own the web course. So you will go to web course and uh, find midterm project in the files. Okay, go to midterm project, joins, and handle. So you will need to download this uh, PRT, the part file. Okay, once you open that, it'll have this thing. That's this file. Uh, and that body was made. Uh, I made that. So then you can start from this and uh, the instruction is in this uh, slides okay so that's the slide for this part and uh, basically what you needed to do is make four datums four sketches and uh, make a sweep okay or swept the next to just finish up the make make this uh, sweep hollow that so those two bodies that perfect match then that's it for this part the reason being is um, this the partially finished part is actually made out of uh, chasing the, the sketch uh, chasing a picture of the real thing okay. so that's the picture I think I have it somewhere here okay. anyway uh, let me download that to show you a little bit So this is the um, the part I finished for you, and uh, because this has so many arcs, it's very tedious to create this part. So if you want to, I will make another video uh, on this how to chase uh, a picture out of the the picture and then make a part. You know, um, that's a technique used in the, the visualization of those uh, you know the how do I say this. If you want, if you go to YouTube and Google make a car, that's how they make those cars in NX. Download some uh, uh, three view pictures, then chase the picture, then you can find, you can make this part. All right, anyway, so let's go into this uh, the mechanical part. Okay, so the datums and uh, close this. So let's start from the the part you download from web course and uh, also I'll just download this from the slides now first we need, you need to find uh, the position of the data so we have the dimensions here uh, 2, 2.2 those things and they start from your uh, origin of the, the sketch of the data coordinate system so let's build datum first and it'll be uh, inferred or at distance you need to click the XZ plane okay then that's the wrong direction so we'll flip the direction and input the distance to inch now here we can click OK then we'll keep adding the datums so this XZ plane reverse the direction 2.2 hit enter and uh, apply then the same thing here flip the direction the third one is 2.52 then apply then the last one is 6.1 inch. All right. Now those are the datums. Then we will start with the sketch from uh, the first datum. Now we can now before we hide the solid body, we need to find this intersection point on this uh, sketch. So let's build a sketch first. So sketch. Then we need to pick the first datum. And notice the Z is this direction, so that will look the same as my sketch. Okay, um, 
if say our z is the other way, you would have the sketch looking this direction. It's just uh, uh, some explanation, but either way, uh, you just have to know where your orientation is. Okay, so you notice we have a uh, an intersection point here. The intersection point is from the you know from the the datum to this this line here. Um, the reason being is once you have this intersection, you ha you can align the those different sketches, and at the end you want those datums have you know relatively uh, aligned together on this curve, so you can give them uh, you know you know where your sketch is <coughs> on the x direction. Right. So. To find the intersection point, we have a tool here. Uh, intersection point. It might not be there if your your row is not in advanced with full menu or essential with full menu. So that's just a quick note. So intersection point, and what it does is you, you need to click a curve. So this curve is intersecting with our datum. So once you click. Okay, it'll actually generate a point on your sketch. Okay, and my AX is frozen. I just wait for a minute. <sighs> okay, then. It's hard to see, but once you click OK, oh, it's pretty easy. There's a point there. Okay, so that's what we need to do for each of the sketches. Then we can right-click on the body one and hide it. Then we only need that point. So it might be hard to see. Let's turn to dark. Okay. So what we do is we can pick this point. Turn to reference. Once you turn that to point to reference, you can have a big dot. Then it's easier to see. So uh, I'm gonna sketch on the first data. Let's hide all the other data. Then sketch, and uh, it's a generally a, just a reg rectangle, and it's on the negative portion of the x-axis. Then the first thing is you want to uh, make it. Uh, center point might be we might need to do that later after we do the, the fillet. So the fillet is 1.5 inch Okay for all of them. So fillet. I'm sorry point one five and Then do it for four corners Okay Once you're done we can give this uh, height and uh, Length. Let's open this. Okay. So point six and point eight, and dimension from top to bottom. Point six. Left to right. Yes. Point eight. Then we need to drag this line in between the reference point and the y axis. Then we have P37 is 1 8 from the point to from this point to the right side, or it's 0.125. And then we have um, the last thing is the midpoint constraint. So Constraint midpoint will pick sketch origin and pick this line, and everything is green. This is fully constrained. Okay, so that is for the first sketch and height. <coughs> All right, so second sketch, then build a sketch, pick a second datum. Okay, datum three here. 
you can also pick from the graphics window and then it's hidden I just pick from the, uh, the tree then let me plug in my mouse okay so the second sketch it's the same procedure first step intersection point pick this line and say okay then that's your point then we'll turn that point into reference the next we'll need a rectangle we can hide the first the sketch you just did and uh, make a rectangle here you might be able to just type in the dimension for so one and uh, 0.8 let's say width is 1 height is 0.8 and move them between the point and the y axis then we'll do a fillet so the fillet is 0.2 inch hit enter All right. Then next, um, we need distance from the point to the right side. That is the same width. Point two, one two five. So the idea is all the sketch is one eighth inch away from your uh, your metal portion. Okay. Then the last thing is the uh, midpoint constraint. I will pick sketch origin and pick this fully constrained finish sketch then another sketch on the third datum and we can hide the second sketch show the first sketch well you know <coughs> okay they are actually the same dimension as the first sketch but uh, I guess you can somehow move it but I'll just do this again project the point or intersect the point turn to reference uh, don't need that sketch then a rectangle which is 0.8 by 0.6 then the fillet is 0.15 Four corners and to click the intersection point is a little bit better. Okay. Then we'll do a uh, dimension between point to right side, and that is point one two five. Then lastly, the midpoint constraint. Okay, finished. Then we have three sketches. Then we'll do the last one. So the last one is on the last datum. Okay, as you can see, the last datum is a little bit further away than your uh, the metal portion. So also we need to find the intersection point even though this line is not touching the datum but once you click this line it'll inside it'll extend this line and find that point all right so that's our intersection point then we'll draw a rectangle again and uh, the dimension for that is 0.5 by 0.6 okay the width is 0.5 height 0.6 then the fillet is uh, 0.2 so we just need to do that four times 
Okay, the midpoint constraint, this line to the origin. All right, then next step, uh, we need to create two guidelines. And uh, really, there's only one guideline you should be careful for. That's the one on the left side. Okay, so we'll make a sketch on the xy plane, which is perpendicular to all of your uh, sec sections for the swept or the, the sketches you just made. So what we do is uh, we use a straight line first, and then connect this point, connect those sketches on the left side. And the last one is actually a, um, a curve, an arc. Okay, As you can see, this line is an arc. So we want to somewhat follow the curvature of the, the metal portion. So that looks OK. We'll just drop like this. This is really uh, aesthetic. So you don't really need some dimensions. And uh, one thing for the guide curve is it should be, it has to be tangent. So we add uh, two fillets here for the top. This will add to 0.1 inch. And that's one inch. Let's go back. Okay, 0.1. Then for this, it's a little bit larger, so 0.2 inch. Okay, so now from the top to the bottom, it's tangent all the way. And finish. And on the left side, it doesn't have one slide for that. Just one line says the guide B should be a line or a curve. So that's the one on the right side. Okay, in this picture, it's an arc. And I have another model that's actually a line. So you can tune that yourself. Um, so if you need a, a line, we can just start from the first section, then touch the last section. And as you can see, NX just gave me the vertical constraint. We'll just delete that, drag this point to that point. So if you don't, if you're not satisfied with this profile, if you have this handle look like this, you think it's too straight, you can change that to an arc. And then you can sort of follow the curvature on the, the metal portion. All right, and then finish sketch. Now you can take a look. We can hide. Uh, well, we don't really need to hide that. So that's the uh, the rubber part, the grip is going to look like. And then we'll do a swept on this. So the good thing about this swept is the section, they all have the same number of curves. They're all rectangle with four fillets. So the origin curve is uh, easy to pick. You can pick the top. So let's say uh, connected curve, tangent should be fine. Then we'll pick these sections from the top. That's the first section, then add a new set. For the second section, and just keep going. Yeah, my computer is getting really slow. Okay, the last one. Just be careful which one you're picking up. Okay, last section. Then the curve. Before we go into the swept, I'll try to make it a little bit light. Okay, so let's pick the guide curve. Now we have one on the right side. We can pick that one first. So we'll click this one. And as you can see, the, the swept has a the solid is formed already. And if you want to take a look, we can see that. So without the second 
guide curve, the shape will be a little bit off. Okay, so that's the purpose of the second guide. Let's just wait for. All right, then let's pick the second guide curve, which you gotta be careful. Uh, make sure it's all another one and uh, make sure they have the same directions so once we pick the second curve it looks a little bit better okay and uh, trying to rotate this thing All right, then uh, once you pick a second guide, uh, it'll look much better. Uh, okay. All right, but if you zoom in here at the top, and you can see the transition is a little bit sharp. Okay, as a rubber piece, you want this to be smooth. So we can change the interpolation to cubic, and that looks much better. Then we can say okay. So that's pretty much everything you need to do. And then uh, the top and bottom, we can give it a, a uh, edge blend. Oh, the edge, oh, I didn't put in the edge blend. So anyway, it's aesthetic. So what you need to do is edge blend and pick the bottom edge. Okay. Then the radius, you have to adjust yourself make it look plausible and also if it's still not working just make it smaller and we can make it a little bit bigger no it's not doing this so 0 0.06 is on my end the reason being is the sweep is a uh, complicated face so it's not doing it Okay, and the other side, edge blend, Let's just make it not too big. Okay, that is for the rubber portion, and uh, in real life the rubber portion is empty or hollow inside to accommodate the metal portion then how do we make it uh, exactly the same we have this this curve here okay this curve from the partially finished part you can extrude that curve let's extrude this and we can do region boundary curve Right, it's not there. So connected curve, pick that curve, and uh, the dimension is three sixteenth symmetric. So we'll do is symmetric, and uh, three divided by sixteen. And the boolean is subtract, so you can make it hollow here. And once you say OK take a look that's the, uh, the rubber portion of your grip then we show the metal portion okay so that is for the grip and uh, yes and in the next video video it's not required I'll show you how to make this metal portion if you're interested in uh, making something from uh, an image all right thank you